I'm gonna share some YouTube tools with you that will help you with your YouTube channel in a bunch of different ways that most creators don't even know exist yet. In fact, I'm willing to bet there's something on this list that you've never heard of before. And we're starting right now. The first one on the list is called Creative Fuel and it's gonna help you come up with better video ideas. And look, this one is not just where they give you a bunch of video ideas and you can just sit there and spin through them. That's useless, you can just use ChatGPT for that. This is something completely different. Let me show you. Let's say you're on YouTube and you have the browser extension installed and you see a title and you think to yourself, wow, that's a really good title. Or I wonder if there's a way that I could spin that into my niche because it's something that nobody in my niche has ever covered before. All you have to do is click on on the little icon over here after you install the browser extension, and then you click on reimagine for my channel. Now, before we go into that part, they also have an option here to generate ideas from the comments, which is great to go and look at your competitor videos and see, hey, is there any video ideas that I can get from the comments that this person in my niche isn't answering? But for now, we're gonna focus on the reimagine feature. I'm gonna click on reimagine. When you tap that, this sidebar is gonna slide out, so you don't even have to leave YouTube to use this, which is great. But because I have my channel channel plugged into this, you can see here how it spun that video, how to ruin your 20s in 100 seconds, to how to maximize YouTube monetization in 100 seconds, how to beat the YouTube algorithm in 100 seconds, how to elevate your creativity in 100 seconds, how to create engaging shorts in 100 seconds, and so on. And if I don't like any of these, I can click on the options here to generate more and check this out. It's going to load it right inside of YouTube, and I can sit here and I can go through the video ideas here that it's suggested to me. I can generate more ideas, or I can come in here and I can click on the pencil icon and let's say instead of 100 seconds, I wanna change it to 100 days. For the ideas that I like, I can just add a heart. And for the ones that I don't, I can just leave them without anything and then they're not going to be included. But here I can say done. And then now it's going to add it to my idea list. And you can already see some of the others that I've been working on here as well. Once you have the idea, you can click on plan video and creative fuel will help you bring this idea to life. You see the option right here where it has the title and then optionally you can generate initial content in terms of your title, your thumbnail concepts, tags, descriptions, hooks, outlines, and even monetization ideas which is what really takes us to the next level. And then I'm gonna click on plan video. Once you're on this page, you can see the video title here that we made the modification to. If we want to improve it, we have all of these different options here. So let's say that we want to incorporate more impact wording. Here we hit generate title concepts. And now with the more impact wording, we can see how we have unstoppable subscriber growth, explode your subscriber count, skyrocket your subscribers to where it makes them a little bit more compelling and a little bit more click worthy. But we're not done. Now, since this is just an overview, instead of it being a full tutorial, let me know if you want me to do a full tutorial down in the comment section, but I'm going to just take you through some other quick things here so that you can just know a little bit more what this tool can do. We're going to the metadata tab. Now up top we have tags. We all know that tags don't do much anymore. So because of that, don't spend a lot of time, just grab the ones that you want. But what I wanna bring your attention to is it's looked at my YouTube channel and it's pulled in links that I commonly use like TubeBuddy, StreamYard, Opus Clip, Tube Spanner, Creator Mix, and so on. And it's went ahead and added these to the description and went ahead and added a starting point for me for my video description as well. For the content idea, because you're a creator, this doesn't put together a full script for you. Instead, it just says, hey, these are some things that you might wanna talk about for this particular topic. Now let's talk about the monetization tab. When it comes to monetization, this is something that content creators struggle with. And it's one of the things that is really valuable about Creative Fuel. So in here, it tells you different ways that you might be able to monetize this content based on your channel and the topic of the video. So in my case specifically, it shows me these affiliate programs here that I might wanna look into as as ways that I could generate additional income. And down here, I could also look to see if these have affiliate programs, but it's also suggesting that I might wanna reach out to these companies for brand deal opportunities. And remember, this is catered to your channel. So you're seeing this information because this is catered to mine. Now there's two more things I wanna to bring to your attention about this tool specifically. First, it's created by the original founders of TubeBuddy before it was sold. So you know it's gonna be helpful for you and you know that they're focusing on the right things to help you as a creator. But if we scroll down here, they have a guarantee. And that guarantee is get a one out of 10 on your channel within 30 days or your money back. They're so confident that this tool is gonna help you that they're willing to just give you your money back if you feel it doesn't. And if we're honest, that's something that I haven't seen any other creator focused company do. So that by itself makes it incredible. The current pricing for this tool at the time of this recording is around $7. And that gives you up to three YouTube channels, gives you unlimited ideas per day, unlimited inspiration, unlimited idea engine access, and unlimited video workshop 
something. And again, if you want a tutorial, a deep dive on this, let me know in the comments. To try Creative Fuel for yourself, you can use my affiliate link at getcreativefuel.com. Next on the list is an app that I built for content creators called Creator Keyboard. With Creator Keyboard, how it works is, let's say in this example right here where we have great video just subbed, when I go to reply to this comment, I could say, hey, thanks, I appreciate it. Or if I click on the globe icon down in the bottom left of my screen, I can now go into my YouTube folder and then inside of here, I can say, here's a new viewer. Now I just, with three clicks, I'm able to add all of this information here that gives the viewer more information on the channel. And that's just one example. You can add all kinds of things to this. For example, I commonly have people ask me what CPM versus RPM is. So I have a whole thing that I put together to where if somebody asks me that, I can just press that. And then it instantly puts in all of this information right here, explaining the difference between CPM and RPM. You can use this to store hashtags or groups of hashtags. I have a folder that is a bunch of different ways just to thank people for sharing my content on other social media platforms. Quick links to some of my music videos, starting AI prompts for when I'm doing things on my phone. I've got a folder full of affiliate links so I can quickly add those when somebody asks me for a specific tool. I need to add more into that. I've got equipment links for when people ask me about the equipment that I use. But in a nutshell, you have this folder area, which is best if you're a power user. You have just a response area. For this area, it just shows up quickly. So for example, here, it's a quick link to this particular app, um, live stream promo. So I can drop this in here before we go live and it just lets people know if I'm on Twitter or something that we're getting ready to go live. This is also great if you are a marketer or if you're a coach or consulting or if you do any type of customer service or anything like that. Like in this example, if people reach out to me for consulting and I'm taking clients at that time, then I have one response I'll give. And if I'm not, then I have another response that I'll give. So for example, let's say that I am not at that moment in time, then I hit no. And then you can see here, it gives a bunch of information there to where I don't have to type it out every time, which is the whole purpose of this app. You type it once and you can use it forever. I also added a fun feature called a thanksomatic because a lot of times we'll get comments as content creators where people will be like, nice video, nice work, you know, those types of things. Or they just say congratulations or whatever the thing is anywhere on the internet. What you can do in that situation is this thanksomatic is loaded with a hundred different ways that you can say thank you. So if you're at a loss for words, this is gonna help you out in a hundred different ways. So with this, let's say that you like this particular way that you say thank you, you can just add it. And then on the second one where it says thanks a million, let's say that you think, hey, that's not really my vibe or I would never say that. You just hit the X button and it doesn't add it into the comment box. And then for the next one, if you're like, oh, you're awesome, thank you. Yeah, that's a good one. Let me add that one. You just hit the green button and then it's in there. There's also an area here to where you can go ahead and add in any store links that you have. So for example, let's say you have a spread shop store, you can add it in here. Let's say you have a Discord community you're always inviting people to, you can add that invite link in here. You can add your Amazon storefronts, your Shopify storefronts, links to all of your other social media accounts. And whenever you wanna share that with somebody, you just go to the links tab over on the far right-hand side, and then you click on that link, and then you have that at your disposal without having to type it out every time. And then the next step is, after you share whatever link or pre-made response that you have, then in order to get back to your default keyboard, you just hit the globe icon again, and then you're back to the default keyboard. Now let me show you the main app really quick so I can just show you how easy it is to use. Inside of the main app, you have your responses area, which is reflected in the keyboard that I just showed you folders area and the accounts area for all of the different links that you can add. And this does include a custom link category as well. When you're adding a pre-made response, all you have to do is click on the new option and then you can choose a new folder, new response, or a new link or account. In this case, I'm gonna hit a response, but you put a title for the response here, whatever it is, whatever your actual response is, which in this case, I'm just gonna put gibberish for the sake of your time. You put all of that information in here. And if you need to expand this for better visibility, you can just grab that down icon. You can do it that way. You can choose a color for the response to help you remember it better and to help it stand out differently. You can use this for organizational purposes. You can quickly select whatever folder it is that you wanna put the response into if you have folders activated. And you can even add YouTube videos without leaving the app by clicking on add video. So let's say for example, one of your pre-made responses is you get a lot of questions about a particular thing that you've already made a video about. Well, in that particular case, all you have to do is use this to go and find the video that you're looking for without having to go to YouTube and actually click on the videos and go hunt for it and then come back. You can just do it all through here. And then when you find the video that you want to add the link, you just tap on it. And then that is going to be added. As you can see, 
right here to the response. So in a real use case, the end result would look something like this. Of course, when it comes to the responses themselves, you can click on the star to add it as a favorite. And when you do this, any changes that you make in here, they're going to immediately be reflected in the keyboard itself. And one of the best parts about this app is if you are somebody that's really serious about privacy like I am, none of the information shared in this app is sent back to me. It's all stored in your phone. So because of that, I added the option to import or export your data. So what you wanna do is you just wanna make sure that you are exporting your data and that you are saving it to your phone. So in the event that you accidentally delete the app or something like that, then you can quickly restore all of the responses that you've built out. In addition to that, let's say you have the app and your significant other has the app and you wanna share information back and forth, you can do that through the import and export data feature. And then in the settings area, you have a bunch of different options so you can really fully customize this. So for example, if you're like, eh, I don't think I'll ever use the thanks matic you can just turn it off and then it's not gonna show up in your keyboard anymore until you turn it back on. You can also choose the default view for when you open up your keyboard so that you can just quickly get to the responses that you use the most. But but since this is also a quick overview, you can get this for yourself by going to creatorkeyboard.com slash app. And of course, I'll have a link to that down in the description. Currently, this app is free. However, if you do want to be a power user and you wanna use the folder option, it's a one-time fee of almost $10. But when it comes to the responses themselves, you can add an unlimited amount of responses and you can use them as much as you want to. So there's no limitations. The only difference is that with the folders, it's just a little bit more organized if you do end up having a lot of stuff in there. Next on the list is a tool that you might be familiar with, but it has a new thing in it that's like a whole different section that I really want to bring to your attention. Now, I know a lot of you are using Opus Clip already because everybody's using Opus Clip to repurpose their content all over the place. And they have a new thing called Clip Anything that is really incredible. Let me show you. Now, the difference between the original Opus Clip, which is still awesome, and Clip Anything is that with Clip Basic, you drop in a YouTube link. Let's say, for example, you can see down here, I drop in you know, my live streams when I do them and it helps me get a bunch of clips out of one live stream. You can use live streams, videos, podcasts, everything. It's great. If you are somebody that is wanting to save time getting your content onto TikTok and Instagram and things like that, you can just use this to take clips out of your YouTube videos and get them up there. It's a great tool. But when it comes to the upgrade that they did or the additional feature, it's called Clip Anything. Now with Clip Anything, how it works is it's the same thing in terms of putting in the link, but it uses AI to be able to find very specific moments in the video so that you can put together compilations, you can highlight or find very specific areas in the video content itself. Let me show you. In this particular example, I said compile the clips where we talk about getting subscribers. Well here, if we scroll down the page, these are all the clips where we're talking about getting subscribers. Now, one of the cool things about this is that this isn't a tool that is just reading your transcripts. With Clip Anything, it can also find the visual elements of what it is that you're doing as well. Now, in order to express how detailed this is, I'm gonna use their website for this. So one of the things that they did as an example with a workshop that I did with them at VidSummit is they put together, just because everybody knows Casey Neistat, so they put together a clip where they said, hey, find the moment in this video where Casey Neistat is in the shower. And in that particular case, Opus Clip was able to find that moment and make clips of that particular moment when Casey Neistat was in the shower. If you make sports content, like in this example where it's basketball content, you can tell it to find all of the slam dunks and it'll just pull out all of the slam dunks. It's incredible. But how the whole thing works and what makes it so amazing is it's watching your video, kind of like YouTube does. It's listening to your video, like YouTube does. It's reading the things that you say in your video, like YouTube does, and it can pull out all of the details. So for example, if you're like, hey, find the part where I'm wearing the red shirt, it's gonna be able to find and isolate that part for you. If you know, because you made the content, if you're like, hey, this is gonna be a really good clip. If I can just get out that particular part, I can put that up on TikTok or make it a YouTube short. And it's just that scene where I'm wearing the red shirt. You can type that in and it's gonna find that. Or if you're somebody that makes food, you can say, find the parts where I'm preparing the food or find the parts where I'm taking it out of the oven or find the parts where I'm tasting it and it's gonna be able to find those too. It's absolutely incredible. It's so incredible in fact that everybody in the room when we were at VidSummit demoing this, they were all like, oh my gosh, this is incredible, holy cow. Like the reactions were just completely insane. Everybody was blown away by this. Now, in addition to clipping the very specific parts that you want and Opus Clip itself, if you decide just to use that side of it, They've added a lot of really cool stuff. So if you've used this in the past, you're going to absolutely love all the upgrades that they've made. 
So for example, you can export your XML files to edit these in Adobe Premiere or Final Cut if you wanna add some additional things to them. You can publish them directly to social media. You can download the clips as is. You can add AI voiceovers. You can enhance your speech to make the audio sound better. You can even add your own custom B-roll or use stock B-roll. Once you click into the edit option, they have a full editing interface now. So you can come down here and you can edit the clips down here. You can also edit by the text, which is really cool. You can add additional sections. So if it starts in a place in your video to where you're like, you know what, it would be cool if we had this little clip in here, then you can actually add that particular section to it as well by just clicking it, finding that part in your video, and then clicking add. And you can do that in all of these different places where you have the option to add a section. They'll also burn captions directly into the video, and you can also set up custom branding templates. Like, it, it's awesome. You gotta check it out. With Clip Anything, at the time of this recording, it's free, but that's gonna be going away soon, so make sure you get in there and try it out for yourself quickly. And when it comes to Opus, which this is a part of, you can get the starter for $15 a month, or you can get the Pro Package for $14 a month. They're doing a sale right now at the time of this recording, so again, make sure that if this is something that you're interested in, that you get in there and check it out now, because everything's gonna be changing soon. But I have a link for this down in the description, or you can go to opus.pro, or if you wanna hook me up on the affiliate side, you can go to try Opus now.com. And look, since you're a content creator, I know you're putting tons of effort into what it is that you're doing here on YouTube. I made a video recently about things that you should never ever do on YouTube under any circumstance, and people are getting a lot of really good and helpful information out of that video. You can go ahead and click into it here, and I will see you over in that video. But make sure you check it out because it could save your channel. I'll see you in the next video.